So there's this long boardwalk that you take that gets you to um, the top of one of the mountains. But look at this view. Here we go. I don't want that. Yeah. Uh huh. On a weekend, mm -hmm. you could have just gotten your ticket right there and got home. Yeah. It wasn't a very bad line. So where was it that we took the shuttle bus from? We took it from the uh, Elk Hotel. <laughs> right. And it's a free shuttle. Free shuttle. It just took 20 minutes to get here. And definitely did not want and to park. Right so we're here on the Banff Gondola, and this is a big deal for tourists here and it takes you uh, to about 7,000 feet. So we were at about 5,000 in the town, and so this takes you quite high up. And luckily, it's not too, too cloudy, so hopefully we will have a good view of it. And it's not crowded today, which is um, surprising for a Saturday. You buy the tickets ahead of time, either online or in the Pursuit Adventure office and it's about uh, $56 a person on the weekend and a little bit less on a, a weekday and if you have a group I think there's a discount but we'll see if it is worth it. Foggy. Clouds. <laughs> oh, clouds. Not oh, fog. So there's this long boardwalk that you take that gets you to um, the top of one of the mountains. But look at this. Sure to do. 
dress warm. Don't let the temperature get too hot for you. Make sure you have a few layers and then really good ear coverings and gloves. Uh, and then you'll be a lot more comfortable and can spend more time walking around. So this is the Sulphur Mountain Cosmic Ray Station that was built in 1956. And it's up there. So this is called Samson Peak, which is the highest point here in Sulphur Mountain. And the Weather ob uh, Observatory um, operated since 1903. That's, um, you know, they get the um, collect weather data about a thousand times. So um, when Canada's Meteorological Service started issuing weather forecasts in the West in 1903, BAMP was ready because of this particular um, weather observatory. Now it's no longer being used for that purpose because there's a lot of improvements in weather monitoring and so the forecast is more accurate. But at that time it definitely was helpful in uh, warning about snowfalls, drought, fires, that type of stuff. ginger carrot soup and some grilled cheese sandwich so we're going to be enjoying it and you can make reservations or you really don't have to this is the observation deck which is the highest floor in the gondola building. Getting ready to um, go back down in the gondola down to the downtown Banff. Just a little bit about here is there is um, several observation decks. There's like a second floor and also the very top. So do not uh, miss it. Definitely go outside no matter how cold it is. Just dress up for it because there is nothing like it that we've ever seen. You can see all the different peaks. There's several, I don't know, about six peaks, mountain peaks that you can see from up here. As you can see, the air is a little thinner, and for people like me that has asthma, um, definitely a little struggle breathing. Um, there's a cute fire pit over there, and the restaurant. You have got to eat at the restaurant. There is um, a buffet in one of the more casual restaurants. It's $27 for all you can eat, and then we just actually ate at the Sky Bistro. Delicious food. You wouldn't expect good food up here, but it is Fabulous, fabulous. So definitely do not miss that. Nobody's sitting there, uh, but as we were leaving, which is around about two o'clock right now, tons of people in line. But the view from the Sky Bistro is pretty spectacular. So um, definitely a highlight. Usually I don't like touristy things, but this is one touristy thing that I really highly recommend. Robert discovered a Vietnamese restaurant and they have a vegetarian pho. So we're super, super happy. Um, this is just going to hit the spot. So we say goodbye. Um, with the first few days being at Lake Louise and the last two days here in Bam. Even though with the cold, we made it work. And I guess it makes us reflect on life 
and we just try to figure out things that we like to do. And I think Robert and I as empty nesters have really figured out that these are the type of vacations um, that we really enjoy.